Welcome to another episode. My name is Jose Naharo, and on today's episode, I'm going to talk about what companies I have bought in the past 10 days. So this counts from March 3rd, 2020 to now March 13th, Friday the 13th. Um, and my last update, I, I do pretty frequent updates of, of the companies I bought or of my portfolio. And my last update was February 29th. So this is actually about the right time um, to just finish, continue with that track. So let's get started. So a lot has happened since my last video. Uh, my account is down. Um, and right now I'll do a video later. Today I'm mainly going to focus about the companies that I bought and why I bought them. Um, in my latest vid in my later video, I'm going to talk about, um, I'll probably do one this weekend. I'll talk more about my portfolio um, weight, my portfolio management, why I did certain things. Um, but today I'm just going to talk about the companies that I bought. And my latest video, I talked about why I am so calm right now. Um, my last videos were seven tips of why I'm so calm in a market that we're in today. And it's been like two, three weeks already. I think on February 20 something, was when the downturn started happening so it's been like two three weeks right now where where it's just been beating up and i'm still pretty calm people around my job people i hang out with people i talk to are pretty some of them are pretty are pretty fearful right now and um it it, it is i i wish they would listen to some of these tips and if you guys are pretty pretty fearful right now um again it depends on the investor you are none of this is advice um, but things that helped me around it was my latest video, my top seven tips that I follow to help me calm, calm me down during this market. Next, I also finally got a haircut. It's been over two months since I got a haircut. My damn barber moved out of the state and you know how difficult it is for me to find a barber that I truly, truly trust. Luckily, I did find a barber, so hopefully I, I, he, this guy doesn't move out um, and leave me stranded. Um, next, I moved out of Robinhood. I packed my bags and I left Robinhood. Robinhood, um, I have multiple accounts, right? So I have my the main account you guys look at if you've seen my portfolio. That's my Fidelity account, and that account is based on my YouTube my YouTube video. So if I if I say I like a video on if I say I like a stock um, or a company, I buy those companies in my YouTube videos to show um, my skin in the game exactly what I'm doing, right? Um, but then I also had um, a Robin Hood account before I got married I'm moving that account to my fidelity and the reason I don't show I don't use that account is because that's since I've been investing for some time um, so it's gonna show gains from multiple years and I didn't want to show I didn't want to show that with this um, with my YouTube videos right because I didn't think it would be a fair fair value um, showing this where now it's exactly when I talk about a company if I like it I would go ahead and buy it um, so um, now I'm moving my, my account, multiple accounts to Fidelity. So maybe later on I will do a, a video of my whole, whole real portfolio. And then, so now let's get started with today's episode. Let's see what I bought. All right, so let's start off with what I bought on Friday the 13th. That's today. Today was one of the best days, I think, point-wise for the market. It ended almost 10% up and it was almost that 2,000, that I think went almost up 2,000 points in one day. So today on Friday the 13th, I bought some Baidu, I bought some Doju, I bought some Facebook, Huya, Netties, Roku, Square, Tencent, and Uber. And most of these companies, except for these Chinese companies that I'm going to mention a bit, but Uber, Square, Roku, Facebook are all companies that I have done videos on. So definitely go check them out if you want to understand why I'm investing in these companies. Um, but then these there are some new companies here that i have not done videos for yet but i am looking to do videos on these once they report earnings but these baidu doju huya netties and tencent are all companies that i are are are, are in some way involved with esports and if you guys know my channel it's jose naharo stocks and esports i am very very bullish on esports so that's why i am invested in these companies um, these companies either have to do with some form of game streaming platform. If you guys are a gamer, you guys might know about Twitch or Mixer. They're all streaming platforms. Well, China and Asia, in the Asia region, there are other versions of Twitch and 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 Mixer. And these are some of the companies. So Doju and Huya are some some of those companies. NetEase is in the esports industry, in the gaming industry. They create a lot of games. And then we have Tencent. Tencent owns 
a lot of different positions in all of these esports companies. They own position in Doju, they own position in Huya, they own position in Netis, and they own positions in different other gaming companies and just other companies in general. So most of the time, I have been following these companies and I did not enter in these companies earlier because I thought they were overly priced at the moment. But with these big drops, I definitely, these prices were, were a little enticing for me. So I went and, and got into them. Um, then Roku, um, Roku, Uber, and Square, and Facebook. These are companies I have done videos for. And you guys would understand um, Facebook, again, um, they do more than just their Facebook platform. So I do think Facebook ha um, has a good entry point right now. Uh, then I have Roku. Roku deals a lot with hardware for streaming devices. Um, they have other services as well that allow Roku um, to, to be a, a top contender for me. Square, even though businesses are taking a hit, businesses are not going to go with nowhere, right? If Unfortunately, if some businesses fall, some new businesses are going to come and take their place. Um, so Square at the moment, they are pretty much a monopoly for this whole, um, this whole transaction business, for, even for small businesses and big businesses. I think they own 55% of their customers are businesses that sell more than $500,000 of revenue a year. So they definitely deal with a lot of of nice uptown up upholding um, businesses with, with with great revenue and then uber dropped down to the 20 price points and uber is, uh, right, share lifting and they also have the food services and different services that i feel make them a little more um, competitive compared to their other to the other platforms like lyft um, so i decided to uh, average down cost on these companies so next let's talk about tuesday tuesday i bought some boeing i bought some disney I bought some Google. Again, I bought some more Huya. So here, if you guys are looking real quick, Huya is now yellow. So any companies that now I have bought today uh, for at least um, at least twice will go will turn to yellow. So Huya, I bought some more Huya. Now that's yellow. I entered into Microsoft. Microsoft. I mean Microsoft and Google. You Google again. Both of these are companies that I have I, I have either invested in. Previously, Google was actually a new a new investment for me, but one that I have been following so much. They're into that. They're huge into clouding, huge into that in YouTube, right? YouTube is is going a step further every day um, with with the streaming wars. It's it's one of the biggest contenders in my opinion. Everybody everybody here is is on YouTube at least at least once a day. So Google um, again, I, I I thought it was a little too expensive for my taste, but now with these price drops, one I definitely decided to enter. Microsoft, I entered in early on, but um, it just started boosting up and up. Now it gave me some nice entry points to add on to my position, which I was pretty happy. Disney, if you guys have seen my latest video, the one before this one where I updated um, my portfolio on February 29th, I was buying big into Disney and Berkshire, um, but now those became a little too heavy on my portfolio. So now I'm only adding base to average down. But you're not going to see me entering Disney too heavily this week. But it's not because I don't think it's a great investment. I'm pretty bullish on Disney and Berkshire. But I did a lot of buying the week before I started this video. So I don't want to build too much of a weighted portfolio on just those two companies. Uh, then we have, again, Roku Square, Tencent, and Uber already talked about. Um, so what else did I buy? I bought Microsoft, like I mentioned. I bought Roku for the second time, so now it's yellow. I bought Square, so now it's yellow. I bought Tencent, so now it's yellow. And Tencent is one that, I, like I said, just like Google, I thought it was a little too expensive for my taste. But now with this price drop, I am happy um, to see this drop and, and I'm me being able to, to get an entry position. And again, I bought Uber. So all the ones in yellow here are ones that I bought at least twice already in both Friday and Thursday. So that's Huya, Roku, Square, Tencent, and Uber. Now let's take a look at Wednesday. So Wednesday the 11th. The ones that I bought twice would be yellow. Once I bought once would be white. On Wednesday the 11th, I bought Boeing. So this would be my second time buying Boeing. Again, cost averaging. I bought some more Google. It might be my second time buying Google. And of course, you guys can see I'm bullish on this eSport. I bought Huya. This is the third time I bought Huya. So now it's green. I bought Microsoft. Microsoft, now it's yellow. I bought Roku. Roku, now it's green. Pretty bullish on Roku. I bought space. I bought some more space. So space I entered early on um, when the price were, I think my price cost basis was 16. I did not add in much positions with the whole skyrocket thing when it was just booming. But now that the prices have dropped down, I decided to increase my, my holdings in there. 
Uh, then I bought some more square. Square is now green. It means I bought three times already. Um, then I bought some Tencent. Again, now Tencent is green. Teleria. Teleria is a company that provides service to, to be able to add ads, ads into streaming streaming platforms. I think that's a pretty pretty cool, um, cool company idea. It sucks for, uh, but it's, it's, so I decided to enter there. I'll probably do a video when things come down on Teleria. And of course I bought some more Uber and now Uber is also a company I bought three times. Um, next we're going to talk about, there's not much that I bought. I didn't buy anything on Tuesday. Um, uh, Monday I bought some and then the earlier lap, the week before I didn't do much buying it seems. Um, so I don't know if you guys have, if, if you guys see my bit previous video, but on my previous video, I have only bought days that the market has dropped 3% or more. So if I didn't buy too much in the previous in the previous day, it means either the market didn't drop below three percent or the market um, market went up in there. And I'm actually pretty happy to be following that rule because it's helping has helping me cost average. And I, well, I, you're asking why did I buy on Friday the 13th? Then if Friday the 13th, what this Friday market was actually up. There was actually a section when the, some of the stocks were down about 3% and that's when I entered into this company. So I did not break my rule. Um, so I, those I actually got on a good time and that's because I have a rule I follow. I have a rule I follow that, hey, if it drops below 3%, then I'm able to buy. If it doesn't, then I'll wait it out. And um, it's been working pretty good for me. So since thir uh, March 3rd to March 9th, I bought some more Berkshire. Like I said, Berkshire is one that I'm not going to buy too much, just because I did buy plenty of them early on in in the pre in in late February. I bought some more Google, so now Google I bought three times. Look at this, Huya, another one. This makes fourth time, fourth times that that I bought Huya. Microsoft, Microsoft means I bought Microsoft three times. Google, I bought Google three times. Roku, I bought three to, uh, four times. Um, Uber, I bought four times. And then I bought another van. I bought a. I just wanted to buy an ETF to just increase my portfolio on my ETF. So I bought the consumer um, consumer ETF. And finally, I bought Yes. Um, that's another company that I've been on. In the, I, I've done videos on, and I'm pretty bullish on Yes as well. Um, but again, it's not a company. It's a company that I entered in a nice position, and now I'm just cost averaging at the moment. So if you guys have any questions, feel free to post on the comments of why of why um, why I bought certain companies. But just looking at it, um, let's take a quick look. Uh, I bought Boeing. Boeing. The main thing I bought Boeing is cost averaging. We're, we saw Boeing at the 190 price range um, somewhere this this week. So I mean, I, I cost average cost down average my my account on my account. Disney pretty bullish on Disney. We have Disney Plus. Even though the parks and the cruise lines are going to take a hit, Disney has plenty of cash at hand, so we're not going to see Disney go anywhere. Google, Google is a company I've been following for such a long time, but I've always thought it was a little bit too expensive for my taste. Now, um, and now that I've seen this drop, I found the great entry point for me. Huya, Huya, I am bullish on the esports sector, and they deal with the uh, with the streaming, um, game streaming services, Microsoft. Microsoft pretty bullish. I had a position in Microsoft, but I, I I felt it was a little bit too much, too heavily priced at the moment. Um, so I did not add more into that position. Now that it keeps dropping, I'm continuing to add my position on Microsoft. Roku again with all these people staying home. Why would people not spend money on their streaming devices? So that's why Roku is here. Square Square deals with small businesses and large businesses. Um, they're pretty much the monopoly. Any bis any small business you go to, you know they have a square device to, to, to take your card. Um, so unfortunately, if businesses do go down, another business is going to come and take that place eventually. And Square is going to be the one dealing with them. Um, then we have Tencent, a big, big um, company that deals with a lot of different... They, they pretty much have their hold in different companies, a lot in the esports sector. Um, I finally got a good entry position for that company. Uber cost averaging on Uber. I mean, who who if once Uber has just such huge potential ahead of itself. Same with Space, right? Space is one of those companies that it's more like the the potential of growth for these companies can can take this company pretty far. 
um, Teleria with the streaming services and being able to apply ads to streaming services, I think is something that people are going to start looking into. Berkshire, Berkshire has over $120 billion in cash ready to purchase companies. So I do think we're going to see some acquisitions coming up. Um, yes, I talked about yes. Um, they, they deal a lot with, with cust their customers are businesses. So um, pretty, pretty excited that I was able to enter in, in uh, with another better price on yes. Wanted to diversify a little bit, so I bought some more VBC. Baidu, Doju, and NetEase all have to deal with esports and Facebook. Again, all these companies I have done, most of these companies I have done videos on. So definitely check out my channel if you guys want to learn more about these videos. So take care, guys. Have a good night and see you next time.